when you start doing anything, the first step, you're excited, you're pumped up, you're going to be consumed with that thing you're doing. But a week into it, a month into it, a year into it, five years into it, many people begin to lose that fire. They get exhausted. They don't care anymore. They stop trying. So they stop the daily tasks to move toward the goal. And they settle. They settle for, I guess it wasn't meant to be. They settle for, I guess I didn't want to. They settle for the easy road. They settle for mediocrity. They give up and they let it go. But I'm saying, no, you cannot be like that. You can't allow your dreams and goals to slip by like that. You must stay focused. Don't allow anything to pull you off your game plan if you don't finally get your focus and check if you keep wandering around distracted, if you keep looking at every new thing that pops up in your feed, if you keep trying every single new opportunity, if you keep saying yes to everything, if you keep listening to everybody's complaints, if you keep doing whatever they ask you to do, at some point, you will lose your life. You must reclaim your attention and limit it down to the very few things you care about the most. Cut off anything else that doesn't support you in bed that long. Term goal in your mind. Burn it into your soul. Think about it. Write about it. Talk about it. Hang it up on your wall. But most importantly, do something about it every single day. Start working a plan to get where you want to go and minimize everything else. Getting very clear on the mission and working the plan everything else gets when it gets a no you tune out every voice and noise outside of yourself and you like your focus on this one thing and you give it everything you've got. What is it that you need to immediately stop doing in your life to take back control of your time? Is it social media? Is it watching seven seasons of a show every week? And what do you need to start doing? What do you need to start doing every day, every week, every month, every year to be the best version of you? Because whatever you spend your time on is what determines the outcomes of your life. Disciplining yourself buys you freedom to do what you want. Sacrifice leads and gains follow. Don't bother looking for any gains when you haven't made sacrifices. You've got to give stuff up in order to go up. So the question is, what are you willing to give up? Are you willing to skip the parties, cut out to socialize and pass on doing the cool thing on the weekend with your friends? Because that's what it's going to take. It's going to take you dedicating every single moment, every single ounce of energy and effort. You have to pull it off. Forget about balance. You have to be obsessed with the thing you want and don't allow anything to pull you away from it. If you really want to win, pack your calendar because everything is based off of activity. The more you execute, the more results you will see. You break away from the pack by doing more than other people are willing to. It's impossible for you to lose. If you pack your calendar with tasks to be done every single day of the month, morning till night you do that year after year after year and you will undoubtedly become one of the greatest in whatever the do you want to do. A champion focuses only on the goal. They don't allow anything else into their mind that won't help them win. And so if you want to be a winner, what you're focusing on throughout the course of the day has to change what you're watching, what you're reading, what you're listening to, the conversations you're having. You must now be fully focused on your dreams and your goals. And it all starts with what you're doing today, not tomorrow, not next week. Today, when you're great, you don't just focus on a year. When you're great, you don't just focus on a month when you're great. You don't just focus on a week. You focus on the 24 hours in front of you and you work relentlessly to nail it. Most people go through life never discovering what their talents are. Most people never develop their talents. They have skills and abilities. But if you don't nurture them, if you don't develop them, they will never serve you. Your gifts can take you many places. If you develop your gifts and you'll be surprised of the things that you're able to do when you learn how to block things out, when you learn how to keep an eye single, learning how to concentrate, learning how to focus in, deciding what you're going to focus to develop your skills. You'll be surprised that the ideas that will come to you of the people that you'll be able to attract of the opportunity is that you'll be able to see you begin to see things that have been staring at, looking you in the face. I can't believe this has been here all this time. When you spend your energy focusing on what other people are doing, instead of executing on your own opportunities, you're setting yourself up to fail time and time again. And this goes against what society is right to say is all about gossip. That's why you don't see successful people hanging out with people like that because they worry about their own. They worry about their own actions. They worry about what they execute on. And they worry about how they can get better. And you got to focus on you. 
And as you convince you, as you sell yourself every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing, selling yourself on your ability to perform and job to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again. I got what it takes. This is my day. So you got to work on it when other folks are having a good time. You've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. You want to kill the noise. Nothing succeeds like success. No coach, no trainer, no boss can do it. You versus you decide that you are going to push yourself. You have something that you brought to the universe. And that if you decide that my life deserves my developing this one, I do well. I'm becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have in me. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you. Never, ever allow anybody to make you feel bad about being so blessed. When you've worked short ass off to get it, you decided all the clubs, cardium hanging out, popping bottles with models and all cash. That ain't for me. I wouldn't be here running in the hot sun, practicing playing basketball or shooting on weekends while everybody else is clubbing and hanging out. You gotta focus, right? Change the way you see yourself in the game to tend to the personal details. Understand that nobody's going to take care of your business better than you. You've got to work on yourself. You got to develop yourself. You got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potentials. Stay focused on this and the nobody. What's on your mind? Just do it because what's best for you? You're going to beauty as you begin to develop and expand your skills and your talents. And your vision of yourself, you will always be in control of your destiny. There's no limitations, no students just looking.